YouTube. How are y'all doing today? Me, I'm good. I'm just sitting back wondering, when we gonna get our stimulus check? When we getting paid? So, I thought to do a video about it. I looked up the information and looked up the most recent dates we should be expecting it. This is our second stimulus check I'm talking about. So when to expect it, um, the ins and outs, the tax, the legalities, and the technicalities of the situation. I'm gonna break it down to you and let you know when we about to eat, eat. Okay, it's time to do some more mukbangs and stuff and, and get some more equipment. It's it, what, Stimulus, where you at, stimulus? Anyway, so let's do this, y'all. Another video coming out, stimulus chat. So remember to like, share, subscribe, Comment and don't forget to hit that notification bell if you like my content and you want my story to reach people who needs to hear it. I love you all for free. And let's do this because I need my money, okay? Virus economic stimulus package in March, providing $2 trillion to American workers and an economy hurting from the pandemic. As of August, about 160 million checks had been issued by the IRS. A second round of economic impact payments is still being negotiated in Washington. But here is what we expect will and won't change if a second check comes. What's likely to stay the same are the income limits to decide who gets a relief check. And those qualifications are based on how much you reported earning in your tax return for 2018 or 2019. In the first round, you qualified for a payment if you were a single U.S. resident with an adjusted gross income of less than $99,000. If you filed as a head of household, you qualified if you earned under $146,500. And those filing jointly without children qualified if they earned less than $198,000. Retirees, those who receive disability benefits, or those who earn too little to file tax returns, got payment in the first round and would likely do so in the second. What is also going to likely stay the same is the maximum payment amount of up to $1,200 to individual taxpayers. And it's likely families will once again get an additional bonus for dependents. You can go to CNET's stimulus check calculator to get a more specific estimate for your particular situation. What may change in the second check is how a dependent is defined. The first time around, dependents were limited to children age 16 or younger, but it could expand to include anyone claiming of any age on your tax return. You can likely expect a second relief check to arrive the same way the first batch was delivered. It could come in one of three ways. If the IRS has your direct deposit banking information from when you file taxes, it could be delivered right to your bank account. Otherwise, it could also come as a paper check in the mail and the IRS will use your last known address. Or it could be mailed as a type of prepaid debit card called an Economic Impact Payment Card or EIP card, where it can be spent like cash or transferred to your bank. If you filed your taxes in 2018 or 2019 and have direct deposits set up through the IRS, you could potentially get a second payment as soon as a week after a bill is passed. It's also when checks could start getting mailed out too. But it could take a while to get your money through a check in the mail or an EIP card. As of September, an estimated 9 million Americans were still waiting for payments from the first stimulus package. The IRS website does have an online tool to update banking information for direct deposit payments. If you did not need to file a tax return recently, you may need to use the tool to make sure the IRS knows where to send your relief payment. There's a fresh burst of hope for your second stimulus check. After weeks of bickering, White House and Democratic players have restarted negotiations on another coronavirus relief package. Republicans and Democrats alike support a new stimulus check of up to $1,200 per person. If a bill passes and that's no guarantee, and assuming you're eligible for a new payment, the question is, when's the soonest you could you realistically get it? We're in a negotiation and hopefully we will come to a bipartisan agreement, House Speaker Nancy Pelosi told MSNBC Tuesday. That's my goal, that we come to agreement so that we can put money in the pockets of the American people. How quickly the IRS could move on a new bill is important, since millions of Americans still haven't received their first check or received only partial payments. 
There are two parts to the answer. The first has to do with when the IRS gets the go-ahead to organize payments. The second is which priority payment group you're in. We break it down below, including our best guess on dates, based off the most recent news from Washington. Consult CNET's stimulus calculator to estimate your total check. This story updates often. When the IRS could possibly send the first checks to each group. When and if another stimulus check happens, Treasury Secretary Steven Mnuchin has said it would take about a week to orchestrate the first payments. I can get out 50 million payments really quickly. A lot of it into people's direct accounts, he said. We've speculated potential dates based on calendars from the House of Representatives and the Senate, and also based on Pelosi's vow to keep her chamber in session until a deal is reached. Not every person will get their check at the same time, keep reading below for how the different priority groups shake out. Why are there different payment groups? The IRS has so far sent money to at least 160 million people three different ways, starting with people who filed for direct deposit. Some people with more complicated scenarios are in fact still waiting for their checks or even for catch-up payments. This shakes out into a de facto priority order that could lead some to receive their checks days or even weeks sooner than others. We expect the IRS would keep roughly the same system for sending out the second stimulus check. Direct deposit is fastest. People who already have their direct deposit information on file with the IRS or do so when and if registration opens again should be first in line to receive their stimulus check. An electronic transfer of funds is faster and more efficient, which is why this group largely got their first check faster. Social Security Beneficiaries With the first stimulus payment, many Social Security beneficiaries who had direct deposit information on file with the federal government received their checks in the first week, though not always the first day. People who get paper checks, the IRS began to mail these about a week later to people without direct deposit data on file. EIP card recipients, economic impact payment debit cards or prepaid visa cards that the IRS sent to around 4 million people starting in mid-May. If the IRS follows the same payment priority order, this group could begin to see their checks weeks after the first direct deposit transfers go out. Last group, anyone who received their checks after June, is still waiting to receive their stimulus payment or did not know they need to fill out an extra step. Direct payments will continue through the end of 2020 for some individuals who were not part of the previous groups. Here's what could be holding up the stimulus check delivery for some and how to contact the IRS to report a missing, lost or stolen check. What's the longest I might have to wait for my check? While we expect the bulk of people to get their money sooner, if the first round is any indication, it could still take months for the IRS to send all the checks. Six months after the first stimulus payments went out, the federal agency is still trying to track down millions of people who may be owed money. And even with the experience of processing roughly 160 million payments in the IRS, back pocket, some would probably need to clear a few hurdles to receive their money. Here are common bumps that held up the first stimulus check for some. These factors may delay your check from arriving faster. We won't know details unless, or until, a new bill passes and the IRS gears up to send another round of checks, but here are sticking points to watch for. Changes to aid for dependents. If Congress expands or narrows the definition of a dependent in the next bill, it could require the IRS to adjust its accounting system. That may potentially slow processing your payment. Calculate how much you get if the rules change to include more people as eligible dependents. Banking status. If your banking status changes, it could hold up receipt of your payment. Banking status disproportionately impacted black Americans and other people of color, according to an analysis by the think tank Urban Institute. People who identify as white and whose incomes were above the poverty line were more likely to have received their first stimulus check by the end of May than people who identify as black, Hispanic or below the poverty line, the analysis found. Non-filers need to take an extra step. People who earn below the threshold to be required to file federal income tax returns in 2018 or 2019 also would not get a stimulus check unless they completed an online form for the IRS. This group includes low-income families with children and a far greater number of black people and people of color. Over 9 million people have until October 15th to claim their checks. A few more resources to help. If you're still waiting on the first round of payments, you can track the status of your stimulus check, learn how to report your no-show check to the IRS and find possible reasons why your stimulus check still hasn't arrived. These are possible dates a second stimulus check could go out. On your taxes to the IRS. The answer could be worth an additional $500 or more on your next stimulus check if a bill is passed in Congress. 
The first stimulus payment included a total of up to $1,200 per qualifying adult, with $500 per dependent added on. However, the definition of a dependent, and particularly who counts as a child dependent, gets rather complicated. The legal definition of child dependent is based in tax law and peppered with omissions that meant millions of young people were excluded from the first round of stimulus relief payments. This term applies to your tax return as well as to your first and potentially second stimulus checks. Since another relief bill hasn't passed yet, it's unclear how the next stimulus check will define a dependent, though there are strong suggestions that the qualifications could include more people. Here's how the IRS defines adults eligible to receive their own check. We'll walk you through everything you need to know. In addition, here's how to claim $500 the IRS missed for your dependents by filing for a catch-up payment, and here are the most important stimulus check facts to absorb. This story updates often. How does the government define a dependent? In terms of tax law, a dependent can fall into two categories, a qualifying child or a qualifying relative. They don't need to be children, or to be directly related to you, but they do have to meet certain requirements from the IRS. To claim a qualifying child as your dependent on your taxes, they must be either younger than 19 years old, or be a student younger than 24 years old at the end of the calendar year. However, if your child is what the IRS calls, permanently and totally disabled, you can claim them as a dependent no matter their age. To claim a qualifying relative, be it a child or an adult, as a dependent, they must meet other criteria from the IRS. This might include an elderly relative who relies on you for care. Even if a dependent was claimed on your tax return, they may not have been eligible to receive money from the first round of stimulus checks due to the requirements of the CARES Act. However, it's likely that some requirements will change if another bill is passed. Where do I find the total number of dependents listed on my tax return? If you filed taxes in 2018 or later, you'll find your dependents listed on Form 1040, U.S. Individual Income Tax Return. In the middle of the first page, you'll see a box labeled Dependents. Your dependents, along with their social security number, relationship to you, and whether they qualify for a child tax credit or credit for other dependents will be listed there. What's the most I could get for my dependents in a second stimulus check? The first stimulus payment under the Bipartisan CARES Act passed in March included $500 for dependents age 16 and younger. There was no limit to the number of children who could count as dependents, as long as they were 16 or younger and claimed by the taxpayer on their tax return, according to the Tax Foundation. Because another stimulus package has yet to be passed, we don't know exactly how much money would be allotted for dependents. Under the Republican Backed Heels Act, you'd get $500 per dependent, with no cap on the number of dependents who could receive that money. Under the Democratic Backed Heroes Act, you'd get $1,200 per dependent, for up to three people. Both bills would provide these payments for dependents regardless of age, including college students and adult dependents, including potentially elderly relatives who rely on you for care. The amount of money you would get in a second stimulus payment would depend on your adjusted gross income, which you can also find on your taxes. Check out our story on how to calculate how much money you could get in a second check. What if I have more dependents today than I did when filing my last tax return? If a child was born or adopted into your family in 2020 and therefore not listed on your 2019 tax return that you filed this year, you can claim them on your 2020 tax return to get the $500 dependent stimulus payment from the CARES Act sometime in 2021. This would likely be the case should a second stimulus check be approved as well. You can also find out if you can claim a child or another relative as your dependent on your taxes with this tool from the IRS. What if my spouse and I share a child, but file taxes separately? In this case, a child can still only be claimed as a dependent on one return in a tax year. To find out who should claim the child on their return, check out the IRS information on qualifying child of more than one person. How does it work if I'm divorced or legally separated from my spouse, but we share custody of a dependent? A child can only be claimed as a dependent for one taxpayer for a tax year. Typically, the child counts as the dependent of the custodial parent, the parent who the child lived with for the longer period of time during the year, even if financial support came from the other parent. However, this is not always the case. Find out more from the IRS here. What if my dependent has passed away? If a dependent was listed on your last tax return but has since passed away, it's likely that you were still sent the extra $500 and that they would be included in a second stimulus payment. However, a payment made to someone who died before they received it should be returned to the IRS. You also cannot claim a stillborn child as a dependent, according to the IRS. For more, find out if you're qualified for a second stimulus check and when you can expect a second stimulus check. 
how much stimulus money could you actually get? Both Republican and Democratic leaders continue to say they want to send out another $1,200 payment to those who qualify for a check. The two sides have yet to reach a deal on a new relief bill. However, and with a handful of weeks left till the November 3rd election, both sides have a shrinking window of time to come to an agreement if they want to get out checks prior to the election. When and if another round is approved, exactly how much you'd receive would likely depend on your adjusted gross income, or AGI, from your 2019 federal tax filing. It's likely that a second payment would follow the basic guidelines set for the first stimulus check, authorized in Much's CARES Act, which means there's a lot we can predict now about how your AGI will play into a second payment, and where exactly to find it on your tax forms. While you're here, try our stimulus check calculator for an estimate of how much you could receive. Brush up on the definition of who counts as a dependent on your taxes and who the IRS considers an adult eligible to claim their own stimulus check. What is your AGI and what do you need it for? Your AGI is your adjusted gross income, a measure of income calculated from your total income to determine how much the government can tax. Your gross income is the sum of all the money you earn in a year, including wages, dividends, alimony, capital gains, interest income, royalties, rental income and retirement distributions. AGI factors in allowable deductions from your gross income, like student loan interest, alimony payments or retirement contributions to figure out how your income tax will be calculated. Your AGI is reported on IRS Tax Form 1040. Since it's a rough estimate of how much money you're bringing in after deductions from all your streams of income, the IRS uses your AGI to calculate how much of the maximum of $1,200 stimulus check you can get. How to find your AGI if you filed taxes in 2019 If you filed your 2019 federal tax return, pull out your printed records. If you use tax filing software like TurboTax or H&R Block, you should be able to log into those accounts to find a copy of your return. You'll find your AGI on line 8B of the 2019-1040 federal tax form. How to find your AGI if you did not file taxes in 2019 If you didn't file federal taxes in 2019, you can find your AGI on your 2018 federal tax return. On the 2018-1040 federal tax form, you'll find your AGI on line 7. How to find your AGI if you don't have a copy of your tax return If you just can't find your tax return, you can find it in two ways. Method 1. Go to the IRS, Get Transcript Portal and choose Get Transcript Online. You'll need your social security number, date of birth, filing status and mailing address from your latest tax return. You'll also need access to your email, your personal account number from a credit card, mortgage, home equity loan, home equity line of credit or car loan, and a mobile phone with your name on the account. Once your identity is verified, select the tax return transcript and use only the adjusted gross income line entry. You'll be able to view or print your information here. Method 2. If you don't have internet access or the necessary identity verification documents, you can use the Get Transcript portal and choose Get Transcript by mail, or call 1-800-908-9946 to request a tax return transcript. It'll take about 5 to 10 days to be delivered to you. How to use your AGI to figure out how much stimulus money you could get in a second check should another economic relief package pass. How much money you'd get from a second stimulus check depends on your AGI, your filing status, single versus joint, and how many dependents you have. You can check out our story on how to calculate how much money you'd get from a second stimulus check for some examples on how it could break down for you depending on your situation. If another relief package followed the same guidelines for stimulus checks as the March CARES Act did, single taxpayers with a social security number and an AGI under $75,000 would receive the full amount of $1,200. As your AGI goes up, the amount you'd be eligible to get decreases. If your AGI is $99,000 or above, you wouldn't be eligible for the stimulus check. But again, this assumes that the eligibility rules stay the same. If you're filing as head of a household, you get the full $1,200 check if your AGI is $112,500 or less. The amount would decrease until you reach $146,500, at which point you would not be eligible. If you're a married couple filing jointly without children and your AGI is below $150,000, you'd get a $2,400 payment. That amount would decrease until you hit $198,000, at which point you would not be eligible for a check. The HEALS Act and the HEROES Act differ when it comes to child dependence. If the HEALS Act passes, you can expect to get $500 per dependent. If the HEROES Act passes, you can expect to get $1,200 per dependent, with a maximum of three. For more, find out if you're qualified for a second stimulus check and when you could expect a second stimulus check.
You can update your dependents on the 1040 tax return. After nearly two months of inactivity, White House and Democratic negotiators now say they will return to talks on another relief bill that could include a second stimulus payment. In the most significant development on more economic aid for Americans since early August, House Speaker Nancy Pelosi and Treasury Department Head Steven Mnuchin have agreed to resume negotiations to pass a new economic rescue package. As the situation continues to develop, we can cut through many of the complexities and hone in on the most important details to know right now, including where the bill stands today, how quickly you could get a second check, and how stimulus payments are reflected on your taxes. There's strong bipartisan support to provide another direct payment to people who qualify. Republican and Democratic lawmakers, as well as President Donald Trump, all want a solution that includes a second stimulus check, among other measures in the relief bill. In fact, provisions for a second check have been part of two proposals since the CARES Act passed in March, one authored by Democrats and one by Republicans. And another stimulus check is also expected to be in a new and smaller rescue bill Pelosi has instructed House Democrats to draft. The House of Representatives could vote on the new proposal on October 2nd. The IRS doesn't consider stimulus money to be income, and a payment you get this year will not reduce your refund in 2021 or increase the amount you owe when you file your 2020 tax return. You also won't have to repay part of your check if you qualify for a lower amount in 2021. The IRS said if you didn't receive everything you were owed this year, you can claim it as a credit on your 2020 federal income tax return by filing in 2021. The IRS and Treasury Department said the first round of stimulus payments to recipients in 19 days. Treasury Secretary Steve Mnuchin has said he could send them much faster this time, once new legislation is signed. While we think a second stimulus check would largely follow the same guidelines as the first, eligibility requirements are subject to change. It might even benefit your family if a new stimulus bill redefines who counts as a qualifying dependent. With the first check, the IRS and the Treasury Department sent checks three ways, direct deposit, physical checks, and prepaid EIP cards. It's expected you'll receive your money fastest with direct deposit, followed by check and then EIP card. The IRS automatically picks the payment method, but it's likely to reopen its portal to register for direct deposit if new legislation passes. If you're still waiting for your first payment or are looking for an estimate for how much a second check could include, you can use CNET Stimulus Check Calculator to get an idea for how much you, your family, and your dependents could expect to receive, especially if qualifications shift with another stimulus check. Our calculator tool doesn't retain your personal details in any way. When and if a second stimulus check does arrive, the details will require some unraveling. While some situations are straightforward, other complications about you and your dependents could make it unclear if you're eligible, the size of a check you should expect, and when it's coming. For example, a group of as many as 9 million people still need to register to receive the first check. The IRS didn't send the full monetary amount for some people with dependents, but is making it possible to claim a catch-up payment. And then there are issues that could delay your check, like if you recently moved and a different process for people who receive Social Security disability insurance. There's much more to know about other government payments during the pandemic. For more information, visit CNET.com. And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And don't forget to hit that notification bell. Love y'all.